Hey everybody, welcome to my rift, uh, is this technically day three? I guess this could be day three. I'm not really doing the whole day one, day two, but, uh, I will talk, call this one day three for fun. Uh, I'm starting a new, uh, class here, and it's gonna be a warrior. Now, I don't even know if they call them classes, there's a special name for it, but, uh, I call it class, and then, uh, the sub one would be souls. So I'm a warrior, and I'm right now going through Riftblade. Uh, Riftblade is overpowered, I think. <laughs> and I was thinking Reaver, but I think I'm going to go to Champion instead. Um, and maybe a bit into it. Uh, the other one I was thinking of also was maybe Riftblade. And... Hey everybody, welcome to Rift. Uh, I'm starting a new character named Cat. It's a warrior. And I'm thinking of going Riftblade and uh, ooh, what is this? Riftblade and Beastmaster. Right now I'm uh, Riftblade, Champion, and Reaver. I pick Champion because you get charged without any points into it. And I found out Riftblade is all about range. I thought it was a lot of melee, and so. That kind of ruined things there because it was sort of like charging at the mob and then using a ranged weapon on them. I guess that's kind of silly. <laughs> I was also thinking of Reaver, but I don't know if that's going to be possible now because uh, Reaver is more about melee damage, I believe, but it's also more of like healing. It's really good for a tanking, I believe, set. Uh, what I'm planning to do is get uh, Rift Master which is all about range pretty much, and Beastmaster, and get a pet to tank, so might as well do this. I'm going to get these for fun. Uh, you know, you can get your butchering and mining skills here. And then my bar is going to get spammed to hell. So you can keep... Uh, which one is this? Okay, track wood goes up here. Track plants go up here, and track gore go up here, and then all these you can just dump. Uh, and that one. And what is this? Oh, this is my new spell. I'm not even sure how it works. Oh, okay, because it makes this my spear move fork, so it does like, sort of like double. I wonder if you can stack these. That's kind of cool. Look at the power of stacking on there. <laughs> um,. Anyway, so we can turn on these, and this will help us track ore and wood and herbs and such. There you go, there's already one on the map. So, a U log. Is that a U log? A U log. You go over here. Here, I'll show you my character, by the way. This is how it goes. There's no animation, by the way, for this spear move, but I just want to show you how overpowered we are. There you go. That's how easy it is. Oh, is that something? Oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't. There we, go. we need that for a quest, anyways. Where's that U? Oh, there it is. So you can go like this, just the same old. And you get your points. It's sort of like most games. Oh, these books. All these books come from the starter area. You can only get them once, and they're all from the starter area. They're more like lore books, you know, there's information and stuff. Kind of cool to collect them. Um, there's 14 in total, and uh, so yeah, I got them all. This guy is really nice. As you can see, you do pretty cool damage, and all these moves I'm using are actually range weapons, like uh, here. on an RP server, that guy came at me, he eyed at this, but he walked away, 
Now, most other servers, people would have gone right for it. They'd be like, damn you, that's mine, I claim it, and that's how it goes. So it's kind of cool. People are really nice. So actually, my first day, somebody came up to me and gave me this cool uh, gun for my uh, ranger, just out of the blue. They're just like, hey, uh, they had it, I guess, and they didn't need it, and they gave it to me. And I was like, wow, really? Like, they were that nice out of nowhere? It's like, you don't experience that anywhere else but, like, an RP server, so that, that was kind of cool. It shows you, you know, there's different types of environments. There's still people who are going to go, oh, see, and act like asses and stuff, but most of those people won't last here. They won't get into groups, and people just, you know, treat them as outcasts. No one likes those kind of people anyway, so... Yeah, so I can all really learn my class. I get really confused in this game because, I mean, it can it never ends. Like, I mean, there's so many combinations and ways, and ugh, it gets so confusing here. Uh, here's my soul tree so far. It's nothing too special. I'm thinking of putting, I think, two more points into Rift. Somebody said put two more points into this and then summon to Beastmaster, but I don't have Beastmaster. You can go and get all the uh, subclasses, I guess, what do they call them in this? The souls. You can pick up all the souls at level 13. You can start doing the questing for them. So at 13, I'll start doing the Beastmaster one. Um, look how they die. They fall on their sword. That's like beyond painful. It's exhilarating. Uh. What else? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm having a blast. Uh, there's a lot you can do in the game. Oh, I picked up those trade skills there. So you can go to titles now. I believe they give you... Yeah. So you can get the... There you go. Cat the Thumbs Forger. It'll say on my name now. Yay! And there's uh, prefix and suffix. And uh, yeah, you can get really cool things. Um, and there is... I don't have any yet. Artifacts. You know in EverQuest 2, the, uh, those little turn-in things you get, the little sparklies and stuff? Exactly the same thing in here. Uh, there's collections and they're pretty cool. You can get some neat item rewards out of them as well. And uh, yeah, it's fun for people who like collecting. I personally love collecting. I'm going to spend so much time collecting items because uh, I personally think that's kind of fun. I did that in EverQuest 2 non-stop. In fact, I leveled so much in EverQuest 2 just doing that. Uh, me and Andy used to go around farming the highest levels possible just to collect sparklies because uh, we could resell them, or if not use them. And uh, the resell value on some of them were like 2-3 platinum. I mean, I sold some for like 30 platinum, if I recalled. Am I saying 30? Is it 30 platinum? I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Anyways, uh, see that person waited for me and I waited for them and I just decided to give that to them. But anyways, uh, this is kind of wrapping up my uh, daily video, I guess. I don't know if I'll do them every day, but uh, oh yeah, I get my little, uh, might as well bring them out for you. So this is my one pet. Here's, oh, I got a little uh, achievement for that. Here's my mount. Oh, this is my little buff item. I'll show you that in a second. Here is your collector pets. Oh, that's another pet. And here is my other pet. <laughs> so, three pets. Uh, that one was direct to drive. This one is the one I have to pick up, so I'll leave there for now. And this is a little buff that gives you... You put them on your items. Now, let's see here. Oh, crap. Hitting the wrong... Okay, stats. So you right-click this and you can buff your item. Now it will put up, let's just go by life resistance. So we'll put life resistance by 10. Let's see if it does. Okay, see it does 10. Now this is what's cheap about this. If you go and, uh, I don't really have one hand item. Oh yeah, I have one here. I'm trying to get two one-handed items. Yeah, let's just do that. Now if you go and right click here, Put it on there. Ten again, right? And then you can do it on the second item. Twenty! And your health goes way up. I mean, you give it three endurance from each one. Uh, and you can keep doing this over and over. So it gives you ten uh, life resist, three endurance, so that's six endurance in total, and twenty life uh, resist. 
Uh, I kind of think that's slightly cheap uh, of an item. Life toucher weapon causes you pulse with increasing endurance. Oh, I thought it did something else too. But I think that's kind of cheap, and it's an unlimited item. As far as I know, it never ends. So, uh, kind of unfair for people who have two handed weapons, but anyways, can't win them all, right? And I think that will wrap this video up. Oh, I might as well show you my mount. So, this is my mount. It's really ugly as hell. It's it's really annoying because everyone has them, so they're really not special anymore. Uh, where's my pets? Uh, companions. Okay, so here's my Corpus Kitty. That's Direct 2 Drive. It's just a dead kitty, which is like a corpse, and he just sits there, and I don't even know if he does anything. What's the shiny little trinket? I don't know, you're sure what that is. Oh, it's this guy. What the heck is he? He is a mouse or something, rubbing himself with a... a boggling. Kinda cute. So yeah, <laughs> nothing impressive. I'm sorry if I'm going a little slow today. I uh, am a little slow today. It's one of those days that you're just slow in the head. Uh, but anyways, I think it was a good movie. It's a, you know, informational movie, I think, this time around, so that's always good. Um, shields, so wasteful. So I'll just get whatever sells the most. There you go. Anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, you guys have a good day.